Imagine making seventeen dollar every single that every single one hour you spend on the internet. Like just imagine how it would be for the total hours you spend on the internet per day. Imagine for every single hour you spend online, you've been paid seventeen dollar. A minimum fee. How would you feel for it? Well, that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you a free website that is going to pay you a minimum of seventeen dollar every single hour you spend performing tax on that website. So trust me, this is not the regular survey website or all those websites where you go and do some tedious tax just to get some pen in you. This website literally pays you a minimum of seventeen dollar to help people actually get work done on the internet. And this work are very simple things that you can get done before that one hour time. But the minimum payment is estimated that you are going to be paid seventeen dollar every single hour for helping someone get something done on the internet. Just as in that, just calculate the number of time you spend on the internet. Like for me, I spend a minimum of ten to sixteen hours every day on the internet. So now imagine this calculation. Multiply ten by seventeen. That is a hundred, go to one hundred and seventy dollar on the internet for just a single day. And as you continue this thing for a full a full week now, imagine the amount of money you are going to make. Well, trust me, as much as this thing really sounds promising, trust me, it's 100% legit and this website has been around for over 5 years right now and I just found it and I've been using it for the past 2 months right now and it has been on a consistent payroll. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can also sign up and get started so you can also start earning this amount of money every single hour you spend online instead of just going on the internet, browsing and playing where we can convert that time right now to start making money from it or if you have someone who already have a job Still, you can still be making money on this because it might be in your office, your free time that you used to sit around just watch videos on social media, you can actually use it to start making money off it. So now, let me share with you this website and how you can actually get started. We are on my computer screen right now and I'm going to show you how you can sign up for this website and actually get started. So make sure you stick with me through this whole process. Okay, so once you come over to the website, the name of the website is called Time TC Assistant. So don't rush to come and sign up just because you've seen the name. So here is it. Please only continue if you are happy with an initial hourly rate of $17. Trust me, I don't just promise. Whatever thing I promise is exactly what. Sorry. Your fee will increase over time. So you see that everything I tell you is what I have done. So before I come here to share any content with you guys, I make sure that I personally work on it and has confirmed it before. So I already have an account and this one I'm going to sign up and give it to a colleague actually. So you can say apply now. You can work from home. You choose the hours you want to work. So assuming you have a work you are doing and then you are not always free, you can simply pick the particular time that you choose. You feel okay to work like it could be at night or something like that. The other one get to a 17 hour per dollar and up. Then you have a friendly support system. So you can see the form here. You can enter your first name, your last name, your email address. Then do you have at least five to eight years working as of paid working experience? So you can either go for no or yes. Like I've been working for five years now here. Yeah? So I've meet up with you. So even though you haven't meet up with you, just be honest when filling the form and you are still going to get in anyways. Are you available to work during normal working hours? So this one is so optional. So whenever I pick this, they are going to let you know there is a job offer for you. So for I'm just going to enter my name. My first name is uh, Mayor. My last name is Gode. So I'm going to enter my email. I have a working experience of five years. Are you available to work during normal working hours? Yes. I understand that I'll be working as an independent contractor. So accept it and then click on next. So there are a lot of fake websites that are disguising to be like this website that I'm sharing with you here. So make sure you use the link that will drop in this video description to actually sign up so you don't go and end up with a fake website. And when you type in time, it is, there are a lot of fake ones out there. So it's very crucial you get the right one. So use the link that will drop it down in this video description. So they say let's get started. You are one step closer to finding flexible rewarding work you can do from the comfort of your own home. We need to find out more about this, so we are going to answer some questions on the next few pages. Anything you tell us will be stored securely and will not be shared with anyone. So continue. So now here, let's start with country of residence. So I'm in Ghana. So I'm going to pick. So just pick the country currently residing in Ghana. Phone number. What is your current 
employment status self-employed are you available to start in the next two weeks yes are you happy to be paid an initial fee of this per hour all the work you do yes then hit on next sorry to answer so just follow the information have you been accused or convicted for a crime offense fraud or financial misconduct no do you consent to us conducting full criminal records social security and other government checks yes are you legally allowed to work in the united states yes have you ever been declared bankrupt no next so you simply have filling this information make sure you also follow let's talk about why you want to be a virtual assistant why are you interested in becoming a freelance virtual assistant and why should you choose you so now you are going to put a description about why you want to and why they should choose you so here you are just going to write in the reason like this is not anything uh, big so here is a short description I wrote that I'm used that I normally use. I'm a virtual assistant and have worked remotely for five years. I'm passionate about social media management, content research, and data entry and analysis. I love this job for the opportunity to earn on the side while I work with, while I work with and learn about the things that interest me. So this is really simple. So you simply put in the honest, like just write a honest review of what you actually, what you are actually passionate about, and how long you've been doing this work, and this will really help you. Make sure everything you put in there are things you generally do. So these things I list, are things I do on my own. So after that, how many years or months do you intend to be a freelance virtual assistant? So I'll just put in here, more than a year. What alternative, alternative rules are you currently considering? For example, work from home options part-time employment full-time employment so you can simply put in the part-time once you are uh, considering so say work from home options part-time employment full-time so i don't want to go full-time with anyone so part-time employment Part-time employment. Yeah, so that's simply what I want to go on the other side. So simply not to work on part-time. I don't want to go on a full-time work with anyone. Do you already work as a freelance virtual assistant? Do you already work as a freelance? I work as a freelance virtual assistant, and I'm currently working with someone on this. So I'll just hit on next. Next, let's talk about why you want to be a virtual assistant. Do you prefer building long-term relationship at work? Yes. Are you available for calls and meetings during the day? Yes. What is the minimum monthly amount you will need to earn from time etc? So the minimum monthly amount. So if I'm to put five hours per day, I'm coming. Um, calculator. Come over here. So that's five. So five times is seventeen as eighty five per month. Eighty five times is thirty. That's two thousand five hundred and fifty. What is the minimum monthly amount you will need to earn from time etc? So I just put a minimum of two thousand five hundred. So you can simply use. Uh, this is their scale. You can use their own scale to enter, but this one will take you a lot of time. So this one will really take you a lot of time. So I advise you just type in 2,500. Then what is the main benefit you are hoping to get from being a freelance virtual assistant? experience and learn more skills ability to use your skill and experience to help others chance to earn steady income to cover you over a short time period whilst you look for further employment experience and learn to and learn more skills or you can simply choose between these two experience to learn more skills or use your skills as experience to help others so i'm going i'm going with this one which area of support do you want to provide as a virtual assistant so this way you actually need to pick which one exactly you need PA executive, 
customer service, marketing, and writing. So you need to pick based on what you are good at. So for me, I'm just going to pick marketing. I'll hit the next page. So now, tell us about your background. So let's how many years of employment experience do you have? So I have been employed. I've been working all myself. So I'm going to do four to six years. Please describe your career history for the last three years. Please provide as much details as you can about the last three years of your career. So for the last three years of my career, I've been literally been working alone. So I'm just going to craft this thing. I'm going to pause this video and craft it out. Okay, so here is a brief career history of, for me personally, this for a career history for me personally, social media manager, blogger, and a YouTuber. So I'm, I'm simply going to copy all these things and send in there. So let me just renumber it. So I'm just going to copy this for starting with one a blogger. So make sure you write a brief history about yourself. So if you don't have any experience, also just connect with someone with experience to help you get this document done. So this is not any big deal. You can simply get it done yourself. Just be honest with whatever thing you are writing in there. Because the level you meet is to determine the people you meet up with, but the pay is still the same thing because they are going to connect you to people who need exactly the same service that you listed that you offer. So I'm just going to copy this also. So paste. So now here you have it. Here you can see here is my. I'm just going to put a proper spacing in between them. So now you can see these are the three things are necessary i really do and those are the ones that are put in there why did you leave your last room so i'm still in my current room so if you are still in it simply put it there please describe why you left your last room i didn't leave, so i'm not going to write anything there i'm still in my current room how would you describe yourself So for here they say how would you describe yourself so here's it as a dynamic and creative individual i am passionate about all things digital over the past few years i have honed my skills as a social media manager blogger and youtuber embracing the ever evolving landscape of the online okay for the on the online on the online world so this simply it's this is simply all about me i'll hit the next Okay, okay, so this feed is a must. Describe why you left your first room. Why did you leave your first room? I'm still in my current room. So after I put in here, over here, all you simply have to do is that I am still in my in my current room as so make sure you state it clear that you are still in it, you haven't left. So, if you've left, let them know why you left. And if you haven't, still let them know that you haven't left that particular position. Then hit on next. Tell us about your availability. So, say, is your availability likely to change over the next 12 months? No. Do you have any responsibility that may cause you to unavailable at short times? No. I don't have anything. I uh, simply everything I do, I do it from home. I do every single thing from the comfort of my home, so there's nothing. So please select your skills and experience from the list below. Okay, so here I'll say blog writing. Then try assistance. So you simply select everything that matches with what you've done before. So after I fill up everything, now you need to pick the language you speak. So the language I speak, I only speak English. So there's nothing, there's no any other language for me to speak, pick yet because the only language I know how to speak is English. So if you pick multiple languages, then you are already ahead. You can just pick them over here. So since I don't have another, so make sure you come through and fill out every single thing here. I just fill out all. So after I hit on next. So tell us which industry you've worked with in the past. So now you need to pick all the industries you've worked with. So uh, design, writing. Okay, you need to pick just one. So I've worked with a lot of industries. So let me just look at it carefully. Business services, no energy. So
So there are a lot of options here. So let me just go with marketing. That matches your experience. So I'll just go to the marketing industry. Then I'll hit on next. Tell us how you handle situations at work. Your manager may have asked you to book some flights for them but hasn't given you enough information. How would you handle it? Ask for help. Drop as much as possible the information you've given me, you've been given. Message your manager with a list of the information you require. Message your manager with a couple of questions so you can get started. Your manager has asked you to book some flight for them but hasn't given you enough information. I'll simply message manager with a list of the information you require or ask for help. So I'll go with this option. It's better to reach out to the manager and tell him the list of information you need to be able to book that particular flight for them. Please give an example of a time when you were in a difficult situation at work. How did it make you feel? How did you resolve the issue? So these are minor questions that you need to answer in your own way. So make sure you are honest and fill out this information in a way you yourself, you will handle them. If you don't know how you can do it, let me know that in the comment section and I'm going to provide you with the template. So now, tell us how you would handle situation at work. Okay, more. Your manager asks you to schedule a meeting. After multiple emails, the meeting participant hasn't still responded. What do you do? Contact your manager and ask them what they would likely to do next what they would like you to do next find the telephone number for the participant and call them to get a meeting schedule send another email but this time mark it as urgent you decide to give the participant another few days to reply the emails you've already sent so here's the question you ask. so from here all these other questions are, are simply um short things so i'll just have to fast forward over here so these are just question and answer depending on your personality so once you are done uh, question, they come over here that is that is it we'll receive your application we we'll appreciate you taking the time to apply to work with us we'll be in touch by email in the next few days the next five days and let you know whether we would like to take things further what happens if i'm successful you'll be invited to short video interview with a member of our team what if i'm successful we'll email you to let you know please bear in mind that we receive many hundreds of applications and every we only approve around two percent of them if you are unable to move forward with the application it's no reflection on your skill or your ability please on please because of the number of applications we receive we are sorry that we can't provide feedback on individual applications so now you simply have to wait and when you are, once you are approved and if you feel the information is right there's no reason why you won't be approved once you are approved and that's all but simply in this simply how it works and it's very easy so you'll be sent email whilst you are doing all this work the email they've sent i've seen it on my phone so whilst you are feeling it you can also check your own part of it so you receive an email that your work is currently under review i received my on my phone so make sure you follow this procedure and make sure you fill out every information honestly and trust me it's a high chance of you being approved so that already said have a nice day bye